now welcome to the second random video after Project Phantasma. Today we are going to discuss whether Armored Core Ninebreaker is worth buying or not. I'm gonna try to put this on the perspective on a new person who's never played AC before and also a veteran of the series. So let's get started with going into a new game. Also as a quick note, if you had Armored Core Nexus beforehand you can convert the save game over from there. But we are only going here from uh, as a raw new player. And here you can choose your controller type, uh, type A or type B. I personally prefer type B, but type A is really good for the newer players. Um, there's always these little controls here, but I don't care about that. And here we have Ninebreaker's only bit of story. I can even skip it because it's just not important enough. There's like practically no story in this game. Okay, well... Here's what Armored Core Ninebreaker is. You have, of course, the garage, of, as usual, training, arena, and system. So if we go into our garage, okay, for the newer players, you have three ACs that you can do whatever you want with. Um, the plus side of Armored Core Ninebreaker is, from the start, if you click nine ga a new game, and I'm not talking about convert because that doesn't work like that, if you click new game, you have a ton of, uh, of parts to work with already. And I'll be honest, these aren't the greatest parts. Like, okay, there are some good parts in between there, but nothing broken uh, yet. But, if we go to the weapons now quickly, let's quickly check. Um, yeah, I I'm already seeing a few weapons that could do potentially okay, but nothing that would uh, be really overpowered good. Well, okay, there's the Pixie 3. It's not overpowered, but it's a really well-balanced out weapon. Um, but, uh, oh, this is also more the engine of Armored Core Nexus. It has still a slight bit of slowness, while Last Raven is a bit more fast and the adjustments are a bit more tweaked. Now then, what does Ninebreaker really have for a new uh, for a player? Well, first of all, the arena. That's pretty much 90%, okay, 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 50% of this game. It's This is just the arena junkie game. There's no story, arena is all there is. If you click, for example, uh, test match, which is uh, searching for something of class C right now, because that's the only thing I got, I'm gonna search for an opponent. And it has randomized ACs here. They don't have any sort of backstory to them. These are all just randomized for you to practice against. Now then, you have uh, to the winner points there, so you, as you can see there, and also to the loser. But if you're new to the game, you can click the ones here that has plus points to the loser. So even if you do lose, you still gain some points. Um, that's really handy to be honest and very forgiving for an Armored Core game, but I will be honest, this isn't the easiest game, especially if this is going to be your first AC game. Um, the training here is, here you can train stuff. This is something, if you are dead set at becoming better in Armored Core and you don't really have any other options than uh, possibly this game, this is actually really handy because for here for example the accuracy training, uh, there's gonna be flying targets and you will have to uh, try to shoot them and uh, hope you can hit them. So you can start learning how to build towards a certain objective and here you have attack power. You need a certain amount of power to even go through these walls and stuff like that. So there's defense and move and then there's a lot more hidden uh, trainings that you don't see here to start yet but just to start out let's just build a decent uh, AC based on all the parts we got right now so of course like usual if you press circle you got like all these statistics if you're a new player this looks intimidating as hell but just trust me that if you uh, play around with this a bit everything is gonna start to make sense but if you still don't know anything then you can press the select button and you can then see what everything means for example defense shell defensive capabilities for, uh, versus solid munitions uh, the weight here total weight of all equipped parts the lower this number the more mobile an AC unit will be so stuff like that but uh, I'm gonna quickly off-screen uh, myself trying to build something decent using these parts. And here I've built a, a, 
a simple AC using the basic parts to just start out with the game. Uh, its ammo is not going to be too great, but it still should be able to hold its own. And as you can see, I still have two blank slates I have left here to use, but... Uh, oh, actually, now that I think about it, I never did the tuning before, so let's quickly do that. Now that we uh, did that, we also have the optional parts to go through. And as you can see, they start us off with a decent amount of uh, optional parts. So let's just go for a few quickly without too much uh, thought input into it. And, um... Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, yeah, good. They had the Marishi. But they don't have the other one for, for the first ECM. So let's just go for some stability. And another one of three. Um, okay, you know what? It's a scrub optional part, but let's just go with it. Um, let's see. And then also this. Also a scrub one. Um, and then we can, if you want, as an F, if you're new to the AC series, you can click uh, change your color here. So let's go for edit color yourself, since you can do it yourself. And uh, go wild with it I guess you can make it red and then maybe some blue thrown in there if you want it and then maybe some white I guess and I just made Optimus Prime what the hell that wasn't even my intention um, whatever I, I know there's two parts I can still uh, color but I just wanted to give a quick uh, example you know let's make it a pattern so it's not it's not like that anymore there it, it looks like nothing, I don't like it, but I wanted to just go show some examples. Then weapon color, uh, I'll just make it red, and then finally an uh, emblem, sample emblem, and uh, let's see... Um here, Crest describes me. There we go. So now we have our first AC here. Um, we all can give it a name to ourselves, name to the AC, we can change the cockpit here, and if we check the performance, it uh, performs decently well. For just, you know, some parts that you start out the game with, I guess this is pretty good. I guess the head could be better, uh, the weapons aren't... Well, they're okay, but they run out of ammo quickly. Also, don't pay too much attention to the performance graph if you're new to the game, because... It, it can really just flat out lie to you. It, it's, it's not the greatest uh, reliable way of showing. Now let's go to the arena then and go to a test match. So I only have class C obviously and I'm gonna search for uh, someone to fight. Um, so here we have a bunch of people to fight. Now, if you want to go the safe route, which I'm gonna go do right now, I'm gonna search for one with the highest points of winning, but also that I don't lose points if I lose, for some, for example, with this one, Pine Rose, let's see. Uh, as I said, everything is all randomized, so it's a heavy guy, he uses a blade, he uses rockets, which is the greatest thing, and uh, an arm bazooka. Okay, I think I can easily take this guy, but let's just see how I perform. Okay, and here we have to start the battle then. Um, decent speed on my part. Like I said, I didn't put too much thought into it yet. I'm gonna start out with a few missiles when he's close enough. And which is gonna be now. Uh, some missiles, there we go. Not too great. Hey, get closer you. You know what? I'm gonna get closer you. What about that? There, I'm gonna just spray you with, uh, with machine guns. As you can see on the top left screen, that's my health. And below that is the enemy's health. And well, I'm currently just destroying him. Um, I, ge I guess that this guy is decently easy and look at this, I, I'm not even sure if he knows what to do at the moment. He's not even trying to dash away. Uh, did I overheat him maybe and he, you know, can't dash away? You know, look, it, this is actually a pretty decent build if you ask me. Uh, okay, I just ran out of ammo on my left uh, weapon so I throw that away and I just continue with my right weapon. And Bam, and he's pretty much dead right now. Oh, he actually hit me there with a rocket. And bam. Oh, I wanted to land on his head there. People that have watched my Armored Core 3 playthrough know why I do that. Um, no, don't watch the replay. And there we go, we have actually uh, an arc bulletin. And I actually now have a new title, Trouble Fighter. 
because I won this match. The, be the better you perform, the higher your title is going to be. And the more you perform well, the more challenge you're going to get to get higher ranks. So that's already a pretty cool thing. If you like Arena, you're going to love this game. But now let's go check out the training here, for example. So what we want to do is, for example, the... Um the accuracy training here. It's it's not going to be the most efficient, uh, the most fun one to watch, but uh, let's start bu building something for that specifically. All right, I didn't do too much to him, but I just gave him some sniper rifles, an FCS to uh, look far enough, and okay. In that case, let's quickly do the training then. This exercise will test your accuracy. And as you can see, there's a little briefing here on what you have to do. Acquire and destroy targets as they are released into the training area. That doesn't sound too bad, right? As a first training. You have 65 seconds to complete the objective. 65 seconds. Let's go for it. Let's begin. And they're gonna go send out a few targets, so there, and there, and there, and there, hey, oh, oh, that's not what I was expecting, and there we go. And we're going at a pretty decent speed, if you ask me. Oh, I'm actually missing there. Uh oh. Oh, I actually hit that one before he got away. Ten targets remaining. And ten targets remaining. That's not too bad. Oh, 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 I'm actually messing up there. And, well, as you can see, this is, you know, tr uh, teaching people that are new to the game how to aim. Or, you know, how to just do anything in this game. And it's done. There we go. See, they even send out a few more targets for you in case you happen to miss. Mission objective achieved. System switched to normal mode. And there we go, we got a silver rank for that. Uh, don't pay too much attention to the ranks unless you're like really want to get gold rank on everything to uh, unlock certain parts. But uh, you wouldn't really care to do that unless you really want something that was hidden. But if you're gonna send over this uh, save game to Last Raven, then you really don't need it. So. Now that I've shown you the stuff that's in this game, this is practically all there is to it. There's just, just going to be more trainings here, eventually it's going to show like uh, ACs, and it's going to be like, uh, try to avoid uh, this AC for this amount of time, or stuff like that. And in the meanwhile, the arena, you're, gonna, you're tested to keep on fighting uh, against skilled ACs, or, well, so, uh, at the start, only randomized ACs. Eventually, you're going to get to a ranking here where the ACs actually are built, uh, you know, as an actually good ACs instead of randomized. And once you're in this part, this is where the real training begins then. Um, so what does this game give you? This game gives you an arena mode you can uh, test, a training mode you can better yourself with, and above all, if you want to play this game with a friend but you don't want to uh, start over from the start and uh, gather parts, buy parts and stuff like that. This game is perfect for you. I would even send this game to a friend and say, hey, play this with your friend. Because from the start, you have a bunch of parts to select uh, from the start and no reason to uh, go into the single player. So as a party game, I guess, a multiplayer game that you can play with friends, it's fantastic. As a single player experience, the, 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 the lack of a story mode will really turn you off, but if you're only interested in the arena and bettering yourself, this is a fantastic game for you. Um, currently, the score of this game on um, online reviews is pretty low because of the whole no uh, story in it and it I guess it can be a bit difficult to a new player, but if you look past that and really want to try it out, then I think you would really enjoy this game. Anyway guys, I hope you, uh, you enjoyed, and if you are a new viewer here, I hope I kind of convinced you that this could be a cool game for you. 
If not, maybe look for uh, another game like Nexus, for example, or Armored Core 3. Or the original Armored Core series, or the fourth generation, or something like that. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video I'm gonna make.